pulling the trigger has totally ruined another person's life. That's the harsh truth Kisa Williams wants to tell the man who shot into a crowd full of people in downtown Cleveland and almost killed her son. Dantes Williams was shot in the stomach Saturday, August 1st, near Ontario and Prospect, just outside the Horseshoe Casino and Tilted Kilt. The bullet traveled through his body, leaving him in the hospital for 20 days. And now he's on crutches. I uh, just was standing on the curb waiting for the bus, and, and that's when it happened. Prayer and family, that's the only thing that got me through. I sat there with him all day. Um, every day until he came home. Now Cleveland police are releasing these surveillance photos from that night. They're looking for the man circled in red. He's slender at about six feet tall, but it's this distinctive black and white hat police hope will give him away. Spokeswoman Jennifer Choch says detectives decided to wait five weeks to release the photos after other leads didn't lead them to a name. Our detectives don't um, release surveillance video or footage in every single incident. We like to give the guys time to go out and investigate these incidents. They talk to witnesses, they talk to victims. This was the first time the Williams saw the surveillance pictures. Dantes is just happy to be alive. It could be worse or I could be paralyzed. But his mom, who's about to welcome another child into the world, is worried it could happen again to another family. It makes me scared for, you know, just Cleveland period because if that person shot in that crowd, he'll shoot in another one. Dantes had just graduated from high school and he had dreams of joining the Navy. Those dreams are now permanently on hold. Now as for the shooter, police are hoping to charge that man with felonious assault. That's of course if they can find him. Of course, if you know anything, please call police. We're live in Cleveland tonight. I'm Derek Waller, News Channel 5.